Last week, Senator Brent Jackson, along with several others, filed the North Carolina Farm Act of 2023. And that's a bill that we always watch um, every, every session. And um, it includes several provisions that are important to our members. Um, and it, it includes a whole laundry list of things. I'm not gonna run through everything, um, but it does include a provision to allow um, certain farm or agritourism signs in state highway rights of way. Um, that would allow our farms to you know, advertise with signs that are similar in size to political signage, for example. Um, and that would basically allow them to provide directions to their farm and um, directions to their UPIC operations during their season. Other provisions include uh, renaming the official state fruit uh, from scuppernog to muscadine, since scuppernog is a, is a variety of muscadine. Um, that would just be more inclusive of all the varieties of muscadines. It would also require public schools to offer 100% muscadine juice. It includes a clarification to the definition of farm digester system for the purpose of obtaining a swine digester general permit. Uh, it makes certain amendments to the Pro Prescribed Burning Act, and it clarifies the definition of state wetlands. So there's a lot of provisions in it, a lot of really important things um, to take a look at, and we'll have a full rundown of everything in the written uh, capital roundup this week. The House passed the, uh, their version of the state budget, and so that has now gone through all of its committees and the floor on the House side, and it is on to the Senate, uh, where we will expect to see action on it very soon. Yeah, several committees met last week uh, with bills that we're interested in, uh, either because we support the bill or we're just following it um, for our members. The House Judiciary Committee met and they passed um, House Bill 463, which is the North Carolina Farmland and Military Protection Act. That is the bill that uh, would protect farmland from ownership by foreign adversaries. Um, and North Carolina Farm Bureau supports that bill. The Senate Transportation Committee met and passed Senate Bill 318, the Native Plants Act, which would require the state of North Carolina to use seeds and plants uh, classified as native to North Carolina in all of its landscaping. The House Agriculture Committee met and passed House Bill 539, the North Carolina Farmers Appreciation Day, which would designate a North Carolina Farmers Appreciation Day at, on the second Wednesday in November of every year. And then finally, they also passed the House Bill 327, Clarify Animal Welfare Statutes. That was a bill that de dealt with the definition of a dangerous dog. It'll be a quiet week this week. Uh, both chambers are taking a bit of a spring break, and so lawmakers are not in town, and that will give everyone a, a chance to be home in their districts and catch their breath a little bit. Uh, we do expect action in the Senate on both the Farm Act and the budget uh, as soon as they get back.